Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the platform we're on is called Barry Max. And the Barry Max Exchange, on the 19th, they dated the 20th, but it was on the 19th. This is the two days after the judge issued the order, ordering them to, because they signed a consent decree. If you don't know what a consent decree is, it's exactly what it says that the parties have consented and the judge signs the decree it's the same as a plea agreement without the same outcome this is a plea agreement before any decision is rendered rendered so they agree to compromise so that there is no adverse effect regarding what was requested initially i.e. a injunction did you say a injunction? Did you re didn't you mean an injunction? No, I don't mean Anne. Cause Anne ain't got nothing to do with this. She's over there visiting uh Tumbuk. Okay? Leave Anne out of this conversation. Oh, I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, dear investor, see, they identify us as investors. Pay attention. Go back and look at the judge's order. Investors are not securities traders. We have a relationship. We are investors. Some members maliciously use false identity information to register for false transactions. Well, go to them. Handle them. If you know who they are, then take care of it. However, notice what they did. And use the exchange to carry out money laundering, causing the exchange to flow into money laundering and black funds. They're being investigated. Hold on now. Currently, Barry Max, formerly Barry, bought out in a merger with Binance, is actively preparing for listing on NASDAQ. Hold on. According to international securities laws and international anti-money laundering laws, federal investigators are sending investigation notices to our company. Yeah, that's right. We're getting ready to investigate you. You need to provide this information. Hold on now. Now the exchange has decided to temporarily close withdrawal services. They didn't decide that. The court decided that for them. But they did this. We didn't find out until the 20th. That's not proper notice, but they think that it is. Hold on now. Investors will not be affected by normal transactions. And the exchange will resume normal withdrawal functions in the future. What future? How long? How many months? How many years? How long? Pay attention to the exchange announcements on time. It's South African. The exchange is South African, but because Binance US is part, their trading is located in the US, they're registered in the US. But the court case has said that they are co-mingling funds with their offshore companies, such as Barry Max, the new acquisition. Because it says they're doing that and co-mingling funds, which is not illegal, they're under investigation and the order was for the entire organization, including their offshore accounts. That's how they tied it in. Pay attention. Sorry for the inconvenience caused you. Sorry doesn't help it. So, we decided to be patient. From June 20th until July 20th. Today's July 20th. We were patient. They haven't given any new updates since this day. There's not been a single new update. We've not heard anything from the company. There is no customer service. So what did they do? When we did a motion to intervene and sued them because of this activity, we didn't give you permission to hold our funds. If there are some other people doing something wrong, then you go after them. Do not hold me liable for what somebody else is doing. You have no information saying I'm doing anything wrong, so get out of my way. We have an agreement. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing this because I have a feeling because of the lawsuit and because I put myself out in front, there is gonna be a tax on my person my reputation, my quote-unquote 
my image to the point where it'll affect me on this platform. That's called retaliation. I want them to retaliate. The SEC, I want them to retaliate. I want them to use the news media like they did with Binance. I want them to see they're charging Binance, but the court has already said as an investor, I've done nothing wrong. I'm just an investor. I'm a consumer. Remember, that's your favorite friend. You always want to be a consumer. You do not want to be a customer or this or that. You want to be a consumer. You want to deal in commodities. You don't want to deal in nobody's securities. So, ladies and gentlemen, I put this out in advance because... Uh, where, where, where they at? Two live crew? Who left that? I'm sorry. I apologize. When it happens, then I'm going to do what Snoop Dogg and my boy, who's no longer here, DM. Rough Rider and any other dog pound roof, 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 roof. Arsenio Hall would do. I will introduce myself to them. Right now I was being nice. You see, I wrote them. I wrote them an email. I wrote them an email. And then I also sent a message through the customer service. They ignored me. I told all of our people, I say, I, I tried contacting them. Give them an opportunity to respond back to me. You don't get to ignore me. Ever. So I waited very patiently for over a month. Not a word. Not a single communication. No notices, no nothing. I say, what? So I said, enough. That's enough time for them to respond. I know they're in a catch-22 situation. They D if they do, they D if they don't. What does D stand for? Go talk to Hoover. Oh, okay. What did you mean, the beavers? That's right, beavers too. Go talk to both of them. They'll tell you what it stands for. All right, ladies and gentlemen. But you do too many antics. Ain't nobody take you seriously. I guarantee you they're taking me seriously. With all of my heart, I guarantee you they're taking me seriously. So much, there's not been a single response on the record. It's been a week. Now, hey, normally they respond back quickly when I come into a matter. But again, the issue is going to be attacking me. They cannot attack me. They will try, but they cannot. Do you know why they can't attack me? Because the court identified us as investors. The other court identified us as investors. We are a group, people. The court identified investors shareholders stockholders and customers well we're not only customers but we're also investors but it ordered them to turn over all of the records concerning this group the court doesn't have that jurisdiction see we haven't had a hearing the law says that we cannot have our rights evaded invaded evaded evasion without a hearing they had a hearing, but we were not represented. That's the argument. That's what I'm saying. We had a right to be represented. Represented? That's correct. Nobody else spoke up. Millions of people involved in this, over 10 million people, ladies and gentlemen, are investors, shareholders, stockholders, customers. Over 10 million people, and no one, of the 10 million people, and we know many of them are lawyers or have lawyers on their payroll, no one had the capacity, legally, mentally, or otherwise, to speak up on behalf of the group as a whole, the class. It was the court who decided to name all of those entities as the customers. So we are called the customers in this lawsuit. But we did something no one else has ever done. We brought a counterclaim against the SEC. That's right. The people are suing the SEC. Why? Because it's part of government and it hasn't taken the people's rights into consideration. It accused us of money laundering. Say what? Money laundering. It accused us in a lawsuit of money laundering. Say what? That's right. Said we were criminals now why did they do that 
because you cannot have the poor folk, especially, pay attention, a lot of colored folk. That's right. This particular platform, Barry Max, the majority of them, at least 80%, are persons of color, are of foreign nationality, but mostly persons of color. You can't have them coming up in the world. Now, here's the thing. They tried spreading rumors about the company, saying that it was a fake, it was a fraud. They really did try. They put the rumors out there, and most of the people couldn't even get that they were rumors. Knowing the culture, these people allowed the rumors without speaking on it. The same as they're doing now, because right now they're in a catch-22 situation. The previous situation was a catch-22. If they speak on it, they give credence to it. If they don't speak on it, they allow the rumors to continue. They even mentioned that. They even said, because we haven't spoken, many people believe blah, blah, blah. I understand their position, but here's the point. They didn't come to us about the lawsuit. They didn't have an attorney-client conversation with us. They should have. You see, because I'm a representative, all of my conversations, like this one, that I'm speaking with our members, are between the members. It's privileged information. I'm not putting this out for the public. I'm putting this out for the members, posting this, so that they can go and view it. Why? Because they're going to try to use words against people. They're going to try to use everything against people because that's the game. That's all they have, discrediting someone. Ladies and gentlemen, they can say whatever they want about me. They can talk about me from here to kingdom come. The more they piss, 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 piss me off, the more I'm going to relieve myself. Mama, he just, not me. Okay. No, not number one, number two. Oh, that's nasty. So, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he got diarrhea too, mama. Okay. I ain't got time to be playing no games now. I, I let them play games before. I told people. I spent two years and two months studying arbitration so that I can become an expert. I told everyone I went to school. And that's all I focused on. All of the cases I could pull up, all of the history I could pull up, all of the junk the courts have been saying that I could pull up. My job is to challenge them. You know, I did a consult today. It was for three hours. And I was doing the best I could to give the guy an understanding of what he was getting ready to go to. And what I did is I helped him at the very end, which was the main point, to understand that in the state where he's in, the revised statutes are written by a council it's not written by congress a group of elected official revised statutes are not written by congress they're not enacted by congress ladies and gentlemen if it's not written by the legislature if it's not processed through a bill and through uh articles then it's not part of the legislative process now in california it's just slightly different I have to do a little bit more research on California and how they do things because I know it's just as backwards as all the other states. But if it's a revised statute, check out who publishes the revised statutes. Okay? And then check on when was the law enacted. Not, no, 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 no. The revised statute, not the actual original bill and the original... Um, there's House bills and Assembly bills. So find out when the code, the revised statute, was enacted. You'll find out it wasn't. If you are charged with a revised statute, it is illegal. You can only be charged with a crime. A crime means a violation of law, established law. What is established law? Well, they say it's whatever is part of the legislative process. Legislative process includes both, both the House and the Senate. Both the House and the Senate, not no legislative council. None of them are elected officials. It has to be both House and Senate and has to go according to the legislative process. Bills are introduced, blah, 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 blah. That was the conversation I had with the gentleman. That is how you shut the courts down. That's what you bring up on appeal. Many people don't understand it and they won't be able to push it through. Ladies and gentlemen, I promise you if it was me, I would hammer that into their head. That's why they ignore 
all the paperwork and then they eventually let him go. Okay? Enough. Not ignoring me anymore. Let's say this judge decides she's going to dismiss our complaint. Well, technically she can't. She identified us as a class. But let's say she does that. Then we'll appeal. Automatically. We will appeal. See, I have at least 10 million people that I'm speaking on behalf. We will appeal. Now, hold on now. I only told him I was here temporarily. I don't want to represent the group. But somebody had to speak up. I'm asking the court to appoint limited power of attorney counsel to represent the group. Now, you know she's going to balk at that, but she can't. Because it's our right to be represented. And we are a class. Now, she can't say no, but as I've already put in the document, the class is too vast. Okay, one person can't represent 10 million. The president does it all the time. The president's an idiot. What president you talk? Every single one of them, including the kings. They're all idiot. They're all inbred. They're all from the same stupid royal line. So they're inbred idiots. Now, don't take my word for it. Go and look at their lineage. You see, Barack Obama and George Bush are lineaged together. They're linked. Don't take my word for it. Go do your research, people. I didn't make that up, and neither can they make it up, and they can't refute it. I'm not talking about either one. I mean, actually, since George Bush was put in the situation he's in, I've actually gained a little bit of respect for the young man, literally. And Barack Obama, I gained a little bit more respect for him now that he's not in office. Okay, now I'm even going to talk about his daddy. When that man was out of office, uh, he was the most humble person on the planet. And Bill Clinton? Yeah, Bill Clinton, he's still, you know, a powerful lobbyist. But even he is all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I was listening to Trevor Noah, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this conversation with this. I was listening to Trevor Noah, and he was talking about his younger brother. His younger brother is several years younger than he is. And he said his younger brother, they were at dinner, and somebody came over to the table and wanted to take a picture and get an autograph. And one of the main members at the table said, does that ever get annoying to you? And he says, I don't think they understand what we're doing here, and I don't know why they do it. And his brother, the younger one, said to Trevor, he says, Trevor, and I'm not going to say it exactly the way Trevor said it because I don't remember the exact words he used, but he talked to him about when Trevor's on TV speaking to the television, speaking to the camera, he says he's talking to the individuals who are listening and they're hearing him every day he's in their homes. And so they grow a familiarity with him because they're listening to him every day. He says, however, Trevor, they can relate to you. So when they see you, they, there is a familiarity. There is a, I know him. But you have a disconnect from them, Trevor, because you've never gotten to know them. So it's not that there's something wrong with them. There's something wrong with you because you don't understand this. Now that's his younger brother telling him that. Ladies and gentlemen, that younger brother has taught me something. I have quite a few people who watch my videos and they listen to the videos and they talk about how they know me, they listen to the videos, they've gotten to know me, and I'm sorry about the speaker system because my Bluetooth shut off and I apologize and that's only because I turned the Bluetooth off earlier. So I apologize for that. If there's some scratching in the voice or anything in the speakers, you guys will have to excuse that. The wind in the background is the swamp cooler. Uh, I have it blowing directly on me because it's 115 degrees outside, dude. Anyway, it's not 115 now. It's about 95 or so outside and it's 7... 7 p.m. So that's because that's this area during the summer. The swamp cooler does pretty good. Uh, I'm going to have to go out there and add some water uh, because it's eh, it's a little toasty. No, it's not toasty. It's just temperate. I just don't want it temperate tonight. So I'm going to go and uh, cool it down a little bit. Cool it down. You got to cool it down. Ooh, swamp cooler. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, 
it took me whoo look at that 13 years probably longer to get it because I've been standing up in front of people and doing speeches and all this stuff for quite a long time doing seminars without calling them seminars for quite a long time prior to be before 2000 and whew, I think the first I literally ladies and gentlemen I used to speak to a bunch of inmates doing seminars inside jail facilities literally where they would come to listen to me and it, it to me I think nothing of it because I've been doing it for so long uh, I'd speak to crowds on the street I'd go to places like Magic Mountain and speak to crowds just start talking and everybody would come and hear what E.F. Hutton had to say so I it's not that I have taken it for granted it's I didn't think nothing of it now now hold on now those of you who want to talk about being my friend and how special I am and how you think I'm this and that I will always turn you away why because I do not appreciate anyone worshiping any man and that includes me I know I know that's not your intent but that's how I perceive it it doesn't matter how you describe it doesn't matter what you say again those of you who want to be my friend understand my friends are Jehovah's Witnesses those are my brothers those are my sisters those are my uncles my cousins my nieces my nephews those are my uncles okay those are my friends because no one has left father, mother, sister, brother, uncle, niece, nephew, or cousin who will not receive more in that which is to come. So, they are my friends. Now, just because you're a Jehovah's Witness doesn't mean that we're going to become best friends tomorrow. My videos, all of this is for the people, not for Jehovah's Witnesses. Let's make sure you guys understand that because a lot of people don't get it. Okay, a lot of you won't get it. It's just accept it for what it is. I promise you, just accept it for what it is. I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses. I consider myself, and I believe the God that I serve considers me the same, as a faithful and true servant, Christian servant, Christ follower of my God Jehovah. Not because I say so, but because I hope my life demonstrates that. Like I said, 30 years now almost. Almost 30 years, 27. Well, no, 28 years now. Not 27, 28 years. But anyway, 27 years. And not nobody could, not a single person can point a finger at me. I wish they would. Not a single one. But here's the thing. There are going to be people who are going to try. And that's okay. Let them do it. Only God can judge me now. Tupac, ladies and gentlemen, that's not the way it is. It's not whether or not he can judge me. It's whether or not there's any man on this planet who is capable of judging me. The one in the black robe can judge you. No, they can't. Those people couldn't judge whether or not a frog and a cat are different species of animals. No, they can't do that. Why? because they cannot incorporate their rationale, their opinion, their ideas into any matter. Go back and listen to what K.C. Davis explained, the godfather of administrative courts, administrative law. These judges are incompetent. They will always be incompetent. And as long as you don't understand that about judges, that they are incompetent. I didn't say that. A professor of law said it. A scholar said it, one that they all admire. He's the one who said that they are incompetent. And you know what? I haven't seen anything to call him a liar. They have never called him a liar. When I bring it up in court, they <laughs> kindly do not entertain the conversation because they can't. So that's why I highlight that they are foreign corporations. Am I doing that here in this case? No. I'm accepting the court's jurisdiction because this is an administrative hearing. You must understand the SEC is suing Binance administratively. They even asked for a jury to try the matter. I showed you yesterday how a jury, or not a jury, but a counsel and an attorney are not the same thing. They're not synonymous. 
and the United States Congress recognizes that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, every constitution in the United States gives a person a right to a trial by jury. A jury trial and a trial by jury are not the same term, not the same word. Doesn't matter if the courts say they're synonymous. Prove to me that they're synonymous. Show me where the Constitution, when it says trial by jury, meant jury trial. Then how come your statutes never say trial by jury? They say simply jury trial. So if they're, if they're synonymous, then now let's call it trial by jury every single time. In this matter, let's stick with trial by jury exactly what I'm telling the court. If they are synonymous, then it doesn't matter if I say trial by jury and you acknowledge that a trial by jury is what we are having. But the court will never do that. Do you know why? Because they know a trial by jury and a jury trial are not the same thing. Just like they know that an attorney and counsel are not the same thing. You have no idea how many times the courts have said that an attorney and counsel are the same thing. They are synonymous. If you don't believe me, go back and look at the laws you did not know exist and look at the comments at the very end. When talking about contract law, look at the fact that they say that they're synonymous and the arguments posed that that wasn't the case originally. See, I didn't have proof before until I went and saw that last week in the Judiciary Act because somebody asked me to go over a particular page. And that's what I gleaned from it. It wasn't the point that the person was bringing forth, but that's what I pulled out of it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, this is just to document the record when it happens, so I'll be able to say, I told you so, I T Y S, I told you so, I T Y S, I told you so, I T Y S, I told you so. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, to be able to say I told you so is not to be able to put my finger in your eye and go, na 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 na. To be able to say I told you so is to show you how predictable everyone is. And the system is more predictable than you could ever imagine. All right, got to go, okay? She gives me money when I'm in need. She's a trifling. Uh, I'm sorry, because uh, she's a gold digger. Way over town. Uh, that's dear to me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all take care. Got to go, got to go, got to go.